Charlie Brown and Snoopy's neighborhood came to life with a symphony of alarm clocks. None of the kids knew that it was a special kind of day, the kind of day every kid hopes and dreams about. Ring, ring, ring. Sally Brown answered the phone and leapt ecstatically into the air. Snow day! Charlie Brown had big plans for this snow day. He was going to finally get his kite to fly. That kite-eating tree is asleep for the winter. We have nothing to fear. He smiled and worked his way down the kite string. This could be the day. A new kite and a gentle breeze. Some days you can just feel when everything is going to turn out right. Lift off. The kite soared into the air. Charlie Brown was delighted. The kite caught a gust of wind and surged over the icy pond. Charlie Brown lost his footing. He slipped, slid, and spun until the kite tangled in circles around the highest branches of the kite-eating tree with Charlie Brown attached. Ugh! Stupid kite-eating tree! Charlie Brown hung upside down, then slowly unspun himself into a snowbank below. The kite-eating tree had defeated him once again. But Charlie Brown did not lose hope. I may have had troubles in the past flying a kite, and I may have never won a baseball game, but it's not for lack of trying. Charlie Brown set off to Lucy's psychiatry booth for some advice about how to be more successful next time. He knew that someday he would reach all of those goals. Maybe he could even impress the little red-haired girl at school. What brings you out here? Lucy demanded. There's this girl I'd like to impress. I'd also like for her to know I exist, Charlie Brown mumbled. If you really want to impress her, you need to show her you're a winner. But we all know that you couldn't possibly win anything, Charlie Brown. When Charlie Brown finished his session, Lucy rattled a can in his face. That'll be five cents, please. Charlie Brown paid up and headed off. Lucy held the can to her ear and shook. Nickels, nickels, nickels. What a beautiful sound. On his way home, Charlie Brown thought about Lucy's advice. He would never quit until he showed everyone that he had talent. Everyone was going to know that Charlie Brown was a winner. Charlie Brown found a way to show off his talents and prove he was a winner. He would win the talent show. If he performed the best act in school, he could show everyone he's a winner and impress the little red-haired girl at the same time. Snoopy and Charlie Brown practiced an impressive magic act. Ta-da! Charlie Brown celebrated. We're ready! The talent show was hectic. Some acts were very good. Schroeder's excellent rendition of Beethoven's Fifth received a standing ovation. But Charlie Brown remained confident that he could win the whole thing. Charlie Brown peeked out from behind the curtain and glimpsed red hair. She's here. I have a really good feeling that she will see the new Charlie Brown tonight. Charlie Brown, the winner. Yeehaw! Sally was next to perform. She charged the stage, swinging her lasso, and missed every target. The crowd booed. Charlie Brown's heart broke for his sister. He crossed his act off the roster and entered the stage on all fours, mooing like a cow. It was humiliating. Sally chased and lassoed her big brother. Then Sally took a bow as the ecstatic audience cheered wildly. Thanks, big brother, Sally whispered. After the talent show, Charlie Brown felt totally embarrassed. What if everyone at school mooed at him? At least another chance to prove he was a winner was just around the corner. The winter dance. He would show everyone that he was the best dancer in the whole school. Charlie Brown didn't know how to dance, but that didn't stop him. Charlie Brown's dog and best friend, Snoopy, was a great dance teacher. After hours of practice, Charlie Brown was ready for the dance. 
When Snoopy and Charlie Brown arrived, the DJ made an announcement that gave Charlie Brown even more of a reason to show off his dancing skills. One of you will win our dance competition and take home the trophy. Charlie Brown nervously approached the dance floor. This is it, he thought. It's now or never. As soon as he started to dance, Charlie Brown was filled with confidence. He danced better than ever before. He was sure to win the trophy. He finished the number with a high kick, so high that his shoe launched off and hit the sprinkler system. It was a downpour. The kids darted out of the gym. Charlie Brown stayed by himself, soaked. This wasn't how it was supposed to end, he thought. Charlie Brown thought he'd run out of chances to show everyone that he was a winner. Then, when he got to school, the yearly standardized test scores were posted. Look, Marcy squealed. Everyone stared at Charlie Brown in awe. He got the perfect score. All of a sudden, the kids all treated Charlie Brown like a celebrity. Just when Charlie Brown ran out of ideas on showing off his winning qualities, something crazy happened. Everyone was acting proud to be friends with Charlie Brown. After all my humiliating disasters this year, I'm not a winner. Why would you want to be friends with me? He asked. That's easy, said Sally. We admire the type of person you are. You showed compassion for your sister at the talent show, said Linus. And honesty at the assembly, Peppermint Patty added. Even Lucy had something nice to say. At the dance, you were brave and funny, she admitted. Snoopy barked in agreement. Charlie Brown realized that with friends like this, he'd been a winner all along. Then something unexpected happened. Charlie heard a bus horn blare. He turned and saw the little red-haired girl about to board the bus. I'll write to you, Pin Pal, she said with a giggle. She was talking to him. The little red-haired girl had noticed him. Charlie Brown knew that he could make any dream he had come true. There was a perfect breeze. Charlie Brown knew that if he never quit and kept trying, he would get that kite to fly. Charlie Brown knew that he was a winner. Now all he had to do was convince that darn kite-eating tree. The End Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.